Welcome to EDO Arrow Classroom. In this tutorial, we will see some laws based on algebra of sets and some results on number of elements in sets. Laws of algebra of sets. First law is idempotent law. This law says that for any set A, A union A will be equal to A and A intersection A will be equal to A. Second law is identity law. Identity law says that for any set A, we have A union phi is equal to A and A intersection U is equal to A. That is, if we, uh, if we intersect, if we intersect, if we do in the intersection of a universal set and a, uh, and a, any given set, then resultant set will be a given set only. And if we intersect, U, if we union a phi null set with a given set, then the resultant set will be a set itself. Third law is commutative law. Commutative law. This law says that for any two sets A and B, we have A union B is equal to B union A or A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Either we intersect A, if we do the intersection of A, A to B or B to A, the result will be same. Or if we do union of two sets, that is A union B will be equivalent to B union A. Fourth property is associative law. This law says that for any three sets, A, B, and C. We have A union B union C is equal to A union B union C and A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. This means that if we have three sets and we have to perform union and intersection, we can perform intersection or union to any first to any two sets, then, then perform union or intersection to the resultant to the third set. The result will be same. Then we know that from the result. Next law is distributive law. This law, say, this law says that for any three sets A, B and C, we have A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C and A intersection B union C is equal to A intersection B union a intersection C. This means that if we have to perform union and intersection simultaneously on C sets, then we can perform like this. Next and last law is De Morgan's law. This law says that for any two sets A and B, we have a union B whole complement will be equal to A complement intersection B complement and A intersection B whole complement is equal to A complement union B complement. Okay. These are the some rules of set which we have to follow while solving the questions. Let us see this through an example. In this example it is given that 
there are three sets A, B, and C. Such that it is given that A union B is equal to A union C and A intersection B is equal to A intersection C. We have to show that B is equal to C. First, we have A union B is equal to A union C. Inter if we intersect C on both sides, then result will be A intersection C union B intersection C is equal to C by distributive law. And uh, here we uh, apply distributive law. And here, as we know that, here, A union C intersection C will be equal to C. Also, again, A union B is equal to A union C. Now, intersecting B on both sides, we get This will be B and applying distributive law here, we will get A intersection B union C intersection B. This will be B is equal to A intersection B union B intersection C by associative law. Here we apply distributive law. Here we apply associative law. Result will become this equation is second and this one is first. From first and second, we get B is equal to C as their left hand side and right hand side equal, so B is equal to C. This is our answer. Now we will see some results on number of elements in first result says that number of elements in A union B is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A intersection B. Second result says that number of elements in A intersection B, A union B will be equal to Na plus Nb. If A and B are disjoint sets, in that case, A intersection B will be 5 equal to 5. So, this will be the result. Third is N A minus B, number of elements in A minus B will be equal to number of elements in A minus number of elements in A intersection B. Or we can say, this implies that Number of elements in A minus B plus number of elements in A intersection B is equal to number of elements in A. Next result says that if there are three sets, the number of elements in A union B union C will be equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B plus number of elements in C minus number of elements in C. A intersection B minus number of elements in A intersection C minus number of elements in B intersection C plus number of elements in A intersection B intersection C. Next result says number of elements in exactly two of the sets. If we have to find then the result is N number of elements in A intersection B plus number of elements in B intersection C plus number of elements in C intersection A minus 3 and number of elements in A intersection B intersection C. This is the formula for if you have to find number of elements in Exactly two sets.
Next result is if we have to find number of elements in exactly one of the sets A, B, C, then the result is number of elements in A plus number of elements in B plus number of elements in C minus 2 into number of elements in A intersection B minus 2 into number of elements in B intersection C minus 2 into number of elements in A intersection C plus 3 and A intersection B intersection C. Next result is and A complement union B complement that is number of elements in the A complement union B complement will be number of elements in A intersection B complement or further it will be equal to N union minus N sorry N of universal set minus N of A intersection B. Next result says number of elements in a complement intersection B complement will be equal to number of elements in A union B ka whole complement or we can say num number of elements in universal set minus number of elements in A intersection B. These are the some standard results which we will use while solving some questions on this. Let us see this concept through an example. In this example, it is given that in a group of 800 people, 550 people can speak Hindi, 450 people can speak English and we have to find out how many people speak both the languages. So here, if we see number of people who, who speak both the languages are 800. The total number of people is 800. So A union B is equal to 800. And here A represents Number of people who can speak Hindi. Let me see. Let's write it. He represent number of people who can speak Hindi. While B represent number of people who can speak English. So therefore, N of A union B is equal to 800 and N of A, that is number of people who can speak Hindi is 550 and number of people who can speak English, that is N of B is 450 and we have to find out number of people who can speak both the languages, that is N A intersection B. So we will use the formula N A union B is equivalent to N of A plus, so, sorry, it is right like n of b minus n a intersection b this will come out to be 800 is equal to 550 plus 450 minus n of a intersection b this is n of a intersection b will be equal to 550 plus 450 minus 800 is equal to 200. So, number of people who can speak both the languages are 8200. 8, who can speak both languages are 200.